and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer, and for today's video, it's going to be, as you probably saw in the, in the title, a quick uh, cast video. Ooh, I can't talk today. Anyways, um, it's a pretty short video, like six minutes of actual runtime, and um, I'm doing it before I go into work because this is Thursday, and I work early on Friday, so I won't be able to actually you know, finish up the video like I'd like on Friday morning before I put it out at 7.30 because I have to be at work at 9, which means <clears throat> I'm already at the out of the door. So, um, anyways, I that also, you know, kind of flows into what I was going to say. While I own the um, new Magical Pack, um, I haven't played it yet, and I'm really annoyed because I just haven't had time. I've been working. I worked late, I've worked early, and it's just no time to do it and I actually didn't even know when it came out and I was watching some of the um, or I went to watch James Turner's kind of like overview of it and when he goes yeah I'm kind of late to the party I go huh when does this sucker come out because I thought that like the game changers got their early access and then like the next day it came out so if James Turner's late that means it's already out so I had to look it up and find out and yes yes it is already out <laughs> so I downloaded it and uh, yeah, then and it, then all my time went away, and I couldn't couldn't play it. So, <sighs> anyways, um, I have gone to make a witchy sim a couple times now. Like I've gotten enough time to sit down and cast, but my game's been freezing up because I've got too much CC. Surprise, surprise, guys! Right? <laughs> Anywho, um, so yeah, that's that was what a bigger thing that's caused issues because I really wanted to get in and at least see the towns for myself and like try to start building um, I so a lot of people are saying that they're really happy with the assets that we got and the clothes um, first of all I'm going to prefer the preference this by saying I know it's a game pack we're not gonna get a billion things and we do get a lot with this pack that you know you don't have to have a million assets, but I'm still going to complain about it because this is the Angry Simmer channel after all, and I have been angry lately, so <laughs> I'm a little angry with the clothes. I, I kind of feel, and maybe it's just because I love Cass so much, but I kind of feel like they kind of dropped the ball on this one because vampires, we got a ton of assets, and it was a beautiful, well-rounded pack. Now I'm speaking at this point from the place of someone who hasn't gone into the world and everything and I know we got two worlds and with vampires we kind of got like a neighborhood. So you know there's that. But we did get a lot of UI with that and a whole new race of people so you know it, it's balanced. Oh, that was the Odette dress. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I'm just like I just wish some of this stuff was there but at, clearly I love CC so I have no problem downloading the things that I wish were there, like, you know, the hats and such, but, um, yeah, this, this hair, oh my gosh, it's from Island Living, and it just, it makes all of my gameplay. I love big, thick, full, curly hair, it's just my thing, so I, I really feel like this translated over to this game really well. Maybe it's the whole, um, Hermione thing, Hermione, how do you actually say her name properly? I, I don't know how. Um, but yeah, I just, I wanted bell sleeves on everything for some reason. I wanted like Sophia Nygaard level Batwing greatness. And I'm going to have to download some stuff because I didn't get it. Uh, whatever. I just, I didn't get the actual like direction that they took the clothes in. I know they were saying like a little gothic, a little um, earthy, but I just didn't get any which way with that. Like the one dress that I do enjoy. But that feels more gypsy to me, um, so I don't know. I eh. I just wanted more. I guess that's my issue. And then, of course, like from what I've seen of the actual build by assets from James Turner's video, I'm kind of indifferent on them. The doorways are kind of clunky and really cartoonish, and the windows are kind of cool. But and then, of course, they gave us a flooring or like a roadway, but they didn't give us the color that it matched. Yeah, hey, Harry, crack that one. It's the floor or the one of the tiles that we got are like uh, ground paint, and <laughs> we didn't get a matching color. Please, Sims, Sim Gurus, if you're listening to this, you're not. But if you are, um, if you're going to use a specific color in the world, like the beautiful brick or rock work in um, Brindleton Bay, give us a tile that we can tie it into and make it all flow properly. Because 
brick and rock don't always go together very well. So just, you know, put the things together for us. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, I hope you guys are liking the werewolf kind of a music. It reminds me more of um, Michael Jackson than a werewolf thing. But whatever. I mean, he does turn into werewolf at the end of Thriller. So, anywho. Um, but I did get a little playful with the end of this, the transitions and everything with our screenshots. We do have screenshots because it's so simple when you have a white background. So, <laughs> anyways. Um, yeah, I just hope you enjoy this video. I hope you guys are enjoying the pack. Please don't take my crankiness over assets as me not liking this game. I'm sure I'm going to love playing it. I'm really excited to have magic in the game. It was one of my favorite parts of The Sims 3. So here's hoping fairies and schools come soon because I really want a Harry Potter universe in my Sims game. Um, so yeah, I will try and use a sim to take a look at some of the actual assets we get, but I hope you enjoyed this and I see you guys in the next one. Bye!